Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, there's a sweet new black version of AMD's RX 6800 XT. Can the 6800 non-XT beat NVIDIA's 3090 at mining? Some of the best PC hardware Black Friday deals. AMD's 16 core Ryzen got an all-core overclock over 6 gigahertz, and Ryzen 5000 gets support on 300 series boards? Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, a black version of AMD's RX 6800 XT has been shared on Billy Billy. And as video cards stated, the GPU is clearly not self-painted or anything like that. Since then, the project manager of gaming desktops at Lenovo posted more photos showing it next to the RTX 3070. Now, I will say that he has since taken it down, but not before he shared images of it in a Lenovo Legion PC, which leads many to believe that this will only be sold with pre-built PCs, and I've got to say that I'm disappointed. I seriously think it looks sweet and would go with a ton of builds. Maybe we'll see something similar from an AIB soon. We shall see. Now, if you're like many who weren't able to get a new CPU or GPU because everything sold out, why not learn something while you wait with today's sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of classes for anything you're interested in. I'm talking web development, animation, graphics design, and everything in between. Plus, they offer classes at every skill level, so there's something for everyone. And they're always adding new classes. I've really been excited to work on this Unreal Engine 4 class. Oh, and the best part is that you get all of this for less than $10 a month. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Next up for today in a new story by Video Cards, a forum post was shared on the QQ social network platform, and you can see it does seem he has the card. Either way, he claims that AMD's new RX 6800 non-XT model is a whopping 1.5 times faster than NVIDIA's RTX 3090 at mining, which would definitely be bad news for getting a GPU, especially given Bitcoin has been going up by quite a bit lately. With that said, in another post on the Baidu forums, they seem to think otherwise. Not only that, but a Twitter poster who was liked by the leaker Copite7Kimmy supposedly can confirm that it simply is not true, and that even the Radeon 7 beats it. And personally, I highly doubt it, given the reason AMD's cards did so well before was because they were based on their GCN architecture, which is an all-around graphics architecture, while their new RDNA architecture is made specifically for gaming, so it's highly unlikely that these will do well in other applications. Still, we really aren't sure, and as I recently reported, they are still looking to sell out in minutes, so make sure to get there as soon as you can. Next up for today, a ton of retailers have already begun offering Black Friday deals. Unlike previous years, it does look like most deals will be offered online, thanks to the thing that shall not be named, so it does make sense. Anyway, I thought I'd go over some of the best PC hardware deals, and I'll have affiliate links in the description that don't cost anything more, yet helps the channel out. So let's get to it. Starting things off, while Ryzen 5000 is currently out, they're quite a bit more than last gen. Plus, they're sold out everywhere, so why not pick up the 3700X for just $305 on Amazon? For even less, you can get the 2700X for just $220 on Newegg. And if you already have a Ryzen 5000 CPU but need a board, this Gigabyte B550 is $20 off and has USB flashback, so you can update the BIOS without a CPU. If you need an SSD, you can pick up Samsung's 500GB Evo 850 for just $53.99 on Newegg. If you need more storage for your server, this 10TB NAS drive is 40 bucks off. For more memory, this Team T-Force 32GB kit is a fair bit off on Newegg. And of course, there's quite a bit of other deals that you may be interested in, so make sure to check out the sites down in the description below. Next up for today, AMD's 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X just got an all-core overclock of 6.362 GHz. By gigabytes overclocker high cookie, what's even more wild is that they got a Cinebench R20 score of 15,517 points, which beats the 28-core Xeon W3175X's stock score, as well as AMD's 24-core 3960X's score. High Cookie was able to achieve the score using liquid nitrogen on Gigabyte's X570A Aorus Master. And obviously the use of liquid nitrogen isn't a surprise, but at over 6GHz on 16 cores, it's definitely impressive. 
Lastly for today, I've got a really big story for those interested in AMD's newly released Ryzen 5000 CPUs. For those who've been keeping up with the news, you know that AMD originally stated that only 500 series motherboards would support their Ryzen 5000 CPUs. After enough backlash, they ended up changing it to also supporting 400 series boards, but that the beta BIOS wouldn't come until next year. Still, that's a far cry from no support, though of course 300 series boards are not supported. Or are they? In a new Twitter post by a fairly well-known leaker who shared a screenshot of a Ryzen 9 5900X running on CPU-Z with an A320M board. And that's the low-end 300 series board. Not only that, but a few forum users are claiming that 300 series boards can work, with one user on Overclock.net who actually stated that they know someone who has a beta BIOS running on an X370 gigabyte board. Now, obviously that doesn't necessarily mean it's made by the motherboard maker, but according to WCCF Tech, they're hearing that motherboard makers are giving out support to select 300 series boards, so this could be an official thing though AMD doesn't seem to be too happy about it. Unfortunately, we haven't heard anything official yet, and it doesn't seem all 300 series boards will get it. But of course, as that information comes through, I'll make sure to give that out. In the meantime, beta BIOS updates seem to already be going live for 400 series boards. Gigabyte actually released support for some B450 boards, though it looks like they have since taken them down. Still, it seems boards will be getting support sooner than we originally thought time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped to get AMD's Ryzen 5000 CPUs or are you kind of holding out to see if your older motherboard can support it? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day!